Hi, welcome to Nourish Technologies. Uh, in this video, uh, I am going to discuss a few points related to how to use, how to learn technology. See friends, uh, as a fresher as well as, as an experienced person, as long as you are there in IT industry, uh, you should always be a lifelong learner. And learning newer technologies uh, and probably unlearning the older technologies also is necessary for you. As you progress in your career in IT industry, you always need to learn more and more technologies and you should learn those technologies uh, from the usage perspective. Like you should be able to use that particular technology for uh, solving a business problem. Now as an experienced person, it might not be uh, like you might not need to learn a technology uh, in depth because your focus is more on you know using that to solve a particular business uh, problem on the other hand if you are a fresher then you might need to learn a technology from uh, probably multiple perspectives first thing is that before you get your first job you should be able to you know uh, face job interviews right and there in the technical or even hr interviews as well like you need know, to explain what is your knowledge about a particular technology or about a particular skill. So, if it is a technical discussion there, you should be able to respond to a particular technical question so that you will be able to get a job and after you get a job, when you are there at your work, you should be able to use that particular technology knowledge so that you can do the work that is expected from you in your work. Now in that case, as a fresher you mostly have to work on two things. First thing is learn a technology so that you can explain that and second is to learn the technology so that you can use it in your work. It may be a fresher or experienced person. To learn any technology, generally there are three things and those three things are you should know the definition, you should know the syntax and you should be able to associate uh, that particular concept with any real time example. Now put these three things that is definition, syntax and real time, real time example to any technology or any small big concept in a technology and uh, that way you need to you know work on that. Take an example, you want to learn say a polymorphism you know in uh, Java. So what is polymorphism? You need to know the definition. Why you need to know the definition? Because definition will guide you what exactly is the purpose or what exactly is the, um, what exactly is the concept of that particular technology. Now it comes to polymorphism, the simple definition for that is that a particular object works in different ways in different situations. It may be like it has multifaceted uh, appearance. So this definition that one single object works in different ways in different situations, you know it will help you understand where you are going to use polymorphism. Similarly the syntax to achieve polymorphism, it may be method overloading or method overriding. But when you know the syntax, you should be able to use it, you should be able to write the code. More than that, when it comes to the real time example, you should be able to know and you should be able to understand where exactly you are going to apply that particular technology concept in your work. It is not like all the things you learn, all the things you learn for a particular language or for a particular technology you are going to use them, it is not like that. But for a particular work, what concept is necessary you should be able to use it at that given time. So please understand friends, there are, uh, these are the three steps to learn any technology, you should know the definition, you should know the syntax and you should also know a real time example for that. So that is little about how to learn technology. 
Thanks for watching this video. To watch more such videos, please visit Narish Technologies on YouTube.com. Thank you. Thank you.